last year everybody was complaining how long january is this year i don't want to hear none of that because january straight up flewed out flewed out period hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is rika hope you're doing well today i'm back with a favorites video this one is going to be the first one for the year and i am so excited i got around to try and quite a few things this january and i'm very excited to show you guys some of the things that i've been loving i have a little bit of everything for everyone so if you like makeup i have some favorites for that if you like skincare i have favorites for that if you like to eat i have some favorites for that as well so if you have some time and you want to see some of the things that i've been loving for january please do stick around all right so the first favorite of mine for the month of january would have to be the morphe continuous setting mist i've heard nothing but good things about this product and i was on the market for a new setting spray so i figured i would give this one a try and i have to say guys i have no regrets about this i really like this setting spray a lot it does such a good job of melting the product all the product that i've applied on my face just melting it all together and giving me a seamless and finished look it keeps me matte all throughout the day it doesn't give you that wet kind of look that wet kind of finish that you get with other setting sprays this is more like a veil like a mist i do see myself replenishing this one when i run out so definitely a favorite for me this january so my next favorite for january is the the fenty beauty pro filter instant retouch concealer i did do a first impressions of this product a couple of videos back i'll link it down below if you have not seen it i have to say guys i'm definitely in love with this concealer i have not put it down since i bought it i wear it literally every day and i just love how it leaves the under eye looking i have dark circles under my eyes i have bags my bags have bags and this is definitely when rihanna said this was the cure she was not lying i wear it both ways on top of my foundation or if there's a day when i really don't feel like wearing a lot of makeup i just a little bit of it and i touch it under my eyes and that's it i'm good to go I feel kind of like two-faced or hypocritical bringing up this product because I did trash talk it a bit last year when it dropped but you guys <laughs> the Colourpop brown sugar palette who would have thunk it is in my favorites for january i did do a first impressions of this palette when it came out and for those of you who saw it i was not really feeling it i was not a fan of how it performed i was kind of so and so i don't hate it but i don't really love it either i, I didn't give up on it i played with it some more the thing the trick with this palette guys you have to get a bit heavy-handed well not a bit a lot once you do do that and you get that payoff on your eyes this palette turns out to not be half bad so i've been using this quite a bit if i want to have a casual look i go for this if i want to have a glam look i go for this these are definitely my kind of color so that so yeah that's where we are with the brown sugar palette moving right along i got my hands on some skincare bits as well shout out to sephora for the birthday goodies i was able to try for the first time some bits from the drunk elephant line i got my hands on their jelly cleanser it says cantaloupe glycerin purify and dissolve and this is supposed to let's see what this is supposed to do it's an unscented cleanser that removes all makeup and impurities and i also got to try the proteiny polypeptide cream quite a mouthful drunk elephant is not cheap at all i think this i think the full size of the of this cream is like 80 dollars i'm like this close right here to dropping coin and buying the full size of these products these are pretty good like really really good if 
going to have a great makeup day. This is my secret weapon. My skin just loves this product and you massage that in and your skin just feels so supple, so moisturized. I've also been into a lot of kombucha teas a lot lately. Guys are not familiar with kombucha, it's pretty much a fermented beverage that's packed with a lot of probiotics so it's very good for gut health. I've found by incorporating some kombucha teas in my diet that's definitely helped me a lot with my stomach concerns. They have a number of flavors that you can try. They have a number of brands. I'm not really partial to a brand. Lemon, ginger, apple cider. Those are some of the popular flavors that you can find with any brand. If you can't stomach the taste of vinegar, you will like this because it does have a vinegary kind of acidic taste on the back end. But I still think it's palatable and I quite like them. Another thing I've been loving as well guys are bodysuit. If you want to look put together, if you want to look like you tried but you really didn't, get yourself a bodysuit or two. Or you know what? Three. And it doesn't matter if they're in the same color. You can get them in the same color if you want. I have quite a few. For example, black. You can't go wrong with basic black. This one is from Pretty Little Thing. It's a turtleneck. This is such a staple piece for me. I wear this like all the time. Guys, when I tell you, I just look so polished, so put together when I have this on. That's what a bodysuit will do for you. And they are so perfect for layering. For example, I wear this under a dress. I wear this with a skirt. I wear this over jeans, in a boiler suit. You name it, you can do so much. This is like the perfect base and you can just build around. Definitely feeling the body suits all month long. This one is another one that I have. This one is more of a bardeau. It's an orange one. This one is from Forever 21. With the turtleneck it has a keyhole style in the back and I really like this really like this one it's so nice for layering this this one is a bodysuit as well it's giving me it's very Versace-esque minus the price yeah guys I'm definitely feeling the bodysuits the last thing I want to show you guys is this Python print bomber jacket that I got from Zara. I really love it. I get a lot of compliments when I wear this jacket out. Just makes any simple outfit look so put together and that's what I like. I like to look like I made I like to look like I made an effort when I really didn't. <laughs> Let's hope this whole snake print stays around for a while so I can so I can wear this jacket out somewhere, you know what I mean? We've basically come to the end of my January favorites video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If this is your first time here and you made it all the way to the end, might as well hit that subscribe button guys. You have absolutely nothing to lose. It's somewhere down here. I think it's here. Here or here. When it's that red button, be sure to hit it and welcome to the family. So yeah, on that note guys, thank you so much for watching my video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!